Is a living wage too much to ask for? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst fast food chains to work for, allegedly. For this list, we're looking at fast food jobs you might want to think twice about due to reports of pay disputes, health violations, or worse. McDonald's employees protesting for higher wages, but the fast food giant is still standing its ground. Say it is not okay to steal our wages! Number 10. McDonald's it may be the biggest fast food chain on the planet, but McDonald's has been in the news many times for wage violations and a string of lawsuits brought against it by its employees. And new at five, fast food workers hit the streets to fight what they call wage theft. In 2019, they settled one such lawsuit for $26 million after violating California labor laws by not paying overtime. That same year, female employees filed gender discrimination complaints. According to the ex-employees, when they raised complaints within the company, their work hours were slashed so much they couldn't afford their rent. Similar wage theft lawsuits were settled in New Zealand, while in the UK, workers have gone on strike to try and force McDonald's to raise wages and pay taxes. At the moment, they're on poverty wages, like so many workers in this country. Now, McDonald's makes a vast amount of money, and they make that huge amounts of profit off the hard graft and labor of those workers behind me. Number 9. Subway Eat fresh? Yeah, maybe not. Employees have said that some stores only get two, sometimes just one shipment of ingredients a week. So you could be eating vegetables that have been sitting around for days. Employees are aware of the not-so-fresh food at hand, but feel frustrated because they can't do anything about it. An even bigger problem for employees? Many franchises are reportedly chronically understaffed. Sometimes just two people work entire shifts, and extra long shifts in some cases. In addition, store closures are happening at an alarming rate, making employment less secure. Scandal at Subway, you may have heard about this one. <laughs> it turns out some of their famous foot-long sandwiches have been coming in a bit short. Number 8. Taco Bell That's my nacho. It's never going to be as good as home-cooked Mexican food, but this doesn't mean Taco Bell doesn't have extremely high standards for its employees. It's frequently been called the hardest fast food chain to work for because of the precision in preparing every individual item so that they always look identical. Taco Bell's commitment to this is so extreme that everything has to be weighed. And if your soft taco is 0.3 ounces more or less than what it's supposed to be, it reportedly sometimes gets thrown out and you have to make it again. When it comes to fast food, no one whips up a taco faster than Taco Bell. We can actually make a taco in less than seven seconds. And while they may have fewer lawsuits than most chains, in 2016, they had to pay $500,000 to employees for unpaid lunch breaks. Number 7. Sonic How do they make these? I Wait, don't tell me, unless it's elves. After getting slammed with numerous wage theft lawsuits, in 2017, Sonic signed an agreement with the U.S. Department of Labor to improve its compliance with federal law. Unfortunately, Sonic made the headlines again in early 2019 when all employees at three of its locations in Ohio quit simultaneously. This happened when new management allegedly decided to slash wages from Ohio's $8.55 an hour minimum wage to $4 plus tips, despite the fact that fast food workers rarely, if ever, get tipped. The ex-employees left signs in the windows explaining their situation to customers and walked, though Sonic denied the accusation. Well, wait a minute, no, just tell me it's elves. Have it be the truth. N never mind. Is it magical elves? Number 6. Jimmy John's In 2011, six Jimmy John's employees were fired after making and distributing some memes showing two identical sandwiches, claiming one was made by a sick worker and one was made by a healthy worker. They highlighted the fact that workers don't get paid sick days, so they are often forced to work when ill, which can put customers' health at risk. This was initially upheld as an unlawful firing because making sick people work meant the chain was selling unsafe food. Unfortunately, in 2017, the decision was reversed. This isn't the only thing Jimmy John's has gotten publicity for, however. Locations across the U.S. have been sued for wage theft in 2014 and 2015. Number 5. Popeyes In August 2019, Popeyes launched its fried chicken sandwich, and chaos ensued across the U.S when people couldn't resist the temptation. Mm. I've been trying to make the perfect chicken sandwich forever. Um, How does that make you feel? But the craze was bad news for employees of the restaurant, who found it hard to cope with demand and angry customers when they ran out of the ingredients. <laughs> One viral video showed an eight-year-old boy handling raw chicken at the location his dad worked at. 
which was incredibly short-staffed because of the sandwich rush. His father was later fired. It's a kid in the kitchen, and he's involved in the preparation of that insanely popular Popeye's chicken sandwich. He appears to be about eight years old and can't be more than four feet tall. There was even a fatal stabbing at a Popeye's in Maryland after someone cut in line, which doesn't make employees want to work there. Number four, Wendy's. When the Fair Food Program, an agreement specifically designed to protect the rights of tomato growers in Florida, was introduced in 2011, Wendy's was the only fast food giant that refused to get on board. Have you ever wondered how your tomatoes get to the grocery store or given much thought to the people who pick them. Wendy's decided to outsource its fruit suppliers to Mexico, where workers are subject to lower pay and often abuse. Wendy's refuses to roll over and source its tomatoes from the US, which has led to numerous protests, as well as campaigns to boycott the chain entirely. This will continue in various Wendy's throughout the region. Um, this is definitely not over. Dozens of people outside a Fort Myers Wendy's today protesting, asking the national fast food chain to join the fair food program. The outsourced laborers may not be directly paid by Wendy's, but they are working for them nonetheless. Number three, Arby's. They might be famous for their roast beef, but you might get more meat than you bargain for at Arby's. In the summertime when the weather is hot, you can step right up and get a sandwich that's not. There have been at least two separate instances of human fingers being found in the food there. One in 2004 and another in 2012. Well, you may want to leave the room if you're getting ready for a late night snack. Arby's is apologizing to a Jackson teenager after he found something unexpected in his roast beef sandwich, a piece of a finger. A teenage boy made the grim discovery in his junior roast beef sandwich, and it was ultimately determined that this finger belonged to an employee of the chain who'd cut the tip of their finger off on a meat slicer. In 2004, a manager cut their finger off while slicing lettuce. Well, here's a story that might take away your appetite. A Michigan teen was finishing his Arby's roast beef sandwich when he bit down on something that seemed rubbery. He spit it out only to discover it was the tip of a finger. Losing a body part for work? Definitely not worth it. Number two, Burger King. New Zealand branches of Burger King have seen some particularly stringent policies come their way, including employees allegedly being encouraged to work unpaid overtime. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be <laughs> This was in 2019, after the company had already been banned from hiring migrant workers in New Zealand for a year because they weren't paying the minimum wage. In 2015, American Burger King workers staged protests to get a $15 minimum wage, while co-founder David Edgerton claimed that this would mean the company's dollar menu wouldn't be sustainable. And in 2014 in Canada, an employee of 24 years, Usha Ram, was fired for taking home a meal with permission from the manager. She won $35,000 US in damages due to wrongful termination. A Canadian judge has awarded a former Burger King employee a whopping 46,000 Canadian dollars. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Hardee's Carl's Jr. In 2017, Carl's Jr. was fined $1.45 million by the city of Los Angeles for not paying its workers the minimum wage. The company claimed this was simply down to a payroll error, but they were also fined for refusing to let investigators speak to employees and refusing to inform workers of their rights. The CEO, Andy Puzder, was Donald Trump's nominee for US Labor Secretary at the time, and the controversy around the fine was so severe that he had to step down. Mr. Trump also announced fast food executive Andrew Puzder as his pick for Secretary of Labor. Puzder's company owns Hardee's and Carl's Jr., best known for these racy ads. Grass-fed beef. On top of this, the company has been flagged for having sexist commercials and for being generally opposed to organization and labor activism. And they didn't seem to like the ads, but it was deemed sexist, demeaning to women, you say. Well, 46% of our consumers are women. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.